Hey guys, you're watching the AIB Network. We're here for our first interview for the website, which is really, really, really exciting. And of course, we had to get someone big. We had to get someone amazing. So we got Nathan Hector. Are you okay? Good, I'm good. Are you ready for this? Been ready. You don't really know what to expect either. No, I don't. Come in. Sit up, sit up. Do you think it's alright to be robbing my little brother? Are you mad? I should shank you up now because I need a dead. So your mum can come visit you in the mall tonight. We've got some, right, because AIB is all about inspiring people and things like that. We want to talk a lot about yourself, how you got to where you are today, and why you do the things that you do. Obviously the struggles and stuff. Yeah. So you're ready to be honest. Cool. First question, simply, who are you? Nathan Hector, 23, actor from East London. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Tell us a bit about Nathan. Um, energetic, caring, loving, charismatic. Um, got too much energy. I love Drake. <laughs> yeah. um, I've got ADHD. Do you? Yeah. Attention deficit hyperactive disorder. So what does that what does that mean? Like what? It means like if I drink too much fizzy drink or I have too much sweets, I get really hyper. And like my moods change. I have mood swings. And yeah. Just I, I find it really hard to concentrate. Yeah. And has that helped in your acting and in your career? Or? Yeah, it has. Like in terms of energy wise, mm -hmm. like if I'm, it's just about energy on set for me. Yeah. Um, Depends what kind of scene it is. Like I've always got energy to put into the scene yeah. to make the other actor give, give the other actor the, yeah. that thing the other actor needs yeah. to give the scene what it needs. Well, so, you've yeah. definitely got a lot of energy. That's good. I'll try. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> trying to say my pussy, yeah. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm trying to say. I told her, scared me. Yeah, I tried. Right. So where did it all begin? It began in 2008 when I started. I started Chicken Theatre in 2008, oh, really? 2010. Yeah. And then while I was there, I was doing running, so I was like a tea wear on mm -hmm. a lot of sets, um, a lot of music videos, and then I went from that to doing extra work. So I was doing extra in things like Waterloo Road, EastEnders, Shank, uh, 4321. And then um, whilst I was in college in like 2010, mm -hmm. um, I got the lead role on it. Of, I got the lead role in an online drama series called No ID, mm -hmm. uh, as the character of Labels, and then it just kind of just went from there. Everything just happened naturally from there. So I kind of just sat in my room and I um, just figured out I want to do this this acting thing. Yeah. So I've gone, I've actually moved from the running and the extra work to mm -hmm. doing acting, mm -hmm. and um, like I just wanted to do this online thing. So I just ventured out and just yeah, and you then just, that. just started from there. Yeah, that is good. Do you think right now you are successful? Are you mad? Um, I think I've had. I think I'm having success, but I wouldn't say successful. What is successful to you? Successful to me is like buying a house of acting and yeah. having fans all around the world, yeah. and just creating pieces of work that is just rare, yeah. you know. Um, and seeing my mum and my nan happy and making my family proud. Of that. Yeah, his nan's so cute, by the way. Like, <laughs> we just came in, she's so cute, honestly. Thank you. Yeah, like. That's what success is. To yeah, you. I think I've had success. Like I've hit certain milestones. I've, I've wanted like to achieve milestone? in terms of winning awards independently, mm -hmm. gaining a fan base online, getting a following, Definitely. having yeah. people look up to me, mm -hmm. being in a position of influence. That's that's the best feeling. I mean, away from getting paid from it and mm -hmm. doing certain things. Well, talking of fans, um, you have got a big following on yeah. Instagram, especially. Well done, shout out you because you. you did that. I remember when you like you used to have like couple hundred followers and then when I see your Instagram again I was like wait what like what happened here that's good but we've got fan questions so this one is from young entrepreneur team um, and it says what is the best advice anyone has shared with you um, I spoke to my friend Rick Gunter the other day mm -hmm. he's from America good friend of mine from New Jersey and he said to me Nate how are you meant to move go to the next level if you're chilling around people that are just stagnant in life, yeah. you know what I mean. So you gotta let those people go, and you gotta move on with your, and you gotta get on with your life. Mm -hmm. That was one of the best pieces of advice anyone's ever given me. Because mm -hmm. I think nowadays people just tell you what you want to hear, and don't tell you what you need to hear. They mm -hmm. just tell you what you want to hear. And from that being, I've let loose a couple of people. Have you had Have you had people turn around to you and say like, "Oh, you've changed, Nathan. Don't you remember?" And sort of trying to keep you as that person that you want to yeah, like but I just think that's, like that. that's that's them being insecure about their them not progressing that's mm -hmm. nothing to do with me yeah. if, if I've changed then cool 
Right, so we've got the second one from Legitimate Louie. My brother, yeah. He says, Nathan, if you and I could recreate a Hollywood double act, what would it be and why? Whew, um, quick. What? Like a double act, so like you think of the favourite, like Men in Black, there's two, the two main actors okay. together. Okay, um, like I would say... <sighs> Wait, hey, what's the, what's the character's name in Goodfellas? I'm going, man. The, the two main guys in Goodfellas, yeah. yeah. I'd create them with Lewis. Okay. 110%. Why? Because they're so G'd up. Jimmy Conway. Jimmy Conway Hill. and Henry Hill, yeah. Jimmy Conway and Henry Hill. I'll be the, I'll be the black Jimmy Conway. He's notoriously known for robbing people. What I told you? I told you don't mess with my family, didn't you? And that's what you do. No, that's not <laughs> what I do. I, I, love, I love to play. I love to play a character. That character. Like, yeah, Why? Because it's so different from yourself. Yeah, I don't rob people. Yeah. Who does that? Yeah. Like, well, yeah. people. <laughs> well, people do, it, but I don't. But yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so you yeah. want to be a bad boy for the day, like? But yeah, that's. That do you like that about acting as well? The fact that you can escape and become different characters that yeah, aren't I, anyone I think new over yourself. my years I've evolved in terms of like I've done a lot of urban stuff, but I've never. Until until 2014, I never really played a bad boy until mm -hmm. I done Will You Kill Me Now, which was like my last project I done before yeah. I dropped my project tomorrow, of City of Hearts. Um, I've just been like really picky about what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. As of as of then, I've done that. The reaction was sick. People were asking me how they ha knowing you, how the hell did you manage to put yourself in that space? Yeah, and it was just like. We had to keep doing it over and over again because I'm such a cool guy. Mm -hmm. I don't get angry quickly, mm -hmm. so I can't. It wasn't just easy for me to just switch it on and be like, "Oh, I'm angry now." Yeah. <laughs> hit him with a baseball yeah. bat. Do you know what I mean? So I had to really find that space, and the director kept slapping me to get me angry and yeah. having me run into the scene and doing it over and over again. Yeah, so it wasn't just it. it just wasn't just me just doing the scene. Yeah. yeah needed to be some type of emotional builder. Right, we're going to play another game, word associations, this one's quick, you can't think about it, you can't look, right? Okay. I'm just going to throw a word out there and you've got to say the first thing that comes into your mind, what's, what's, related, what's related to that, right? Yeah, Biggest inspiration? Drake. Why? Yeah, he's not an actor. Yeah. <laughs> what Drake, is it? Drake and Leonardo. Right, yeah. That's... Um, Drake because I feel that he, musically, I, I haven't connected with anyone else. Mm -hmm. but like, He's like a mentor, a big, my imaginary big brother is Drake. Yeah. 110%. Really? Uh -huh. Biggest achievement? <laughs> what? What is your biggest achievement so far? Transitioning from being an extra to an online uh, actor. The main, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's a good one. 110%. Yeah. That's, like, and that's hard. That's, yeah. not, that's not been easy. I've ridden a wave of so much internet stuff. Mm -hmm. Like, Twitter's died down, Twitter's been up, Twitter's mm -hmm. been in the middle, but I've always like, maintained my own, my own thing. Yeah. yeah. Best supporter? Uh, one girl called Zara from um, Zara and Nate. Uh, Zara's from Glasgow. She's amazing. Really? And Nate is from I think she's from North London. She's amazing, man. She. Said what me, do they do? They're just sick supporters. <laughs> like, they're just sick. Like Zara is amazing. Yeah. And Nate's sick. Like Nate. Give them a shout out. Hi Zara. Hi Nate. Hi Nate. Zara, you guys are the best. <laughs> I love you. Thank you. <laughs> motivation. What comes to mind when I say motivation? Um, Uncle Wayne. Why? Just songwriter. He made it. Um, someone that's really close to me. So if I need advice, I wouldn't say career advice because he's not in my field. But um, if I need life advice, mm -hmm. how to deal with a certain situation, yeah, I'll call him. Fear. Not making it. No, yeah. And that's but, not an option. That's not an option. <laughs> like, that's my biggest fear. Like not reaching what I'm capable of doing. Yeah. And people's, I'm not taking no for an answer. There's no Which way. I'm not thing. taking no for an answer. <laughs> I worked too hard. There's yeah. no way. There's no. I did not serve teas to other actors to be told no. You're not good enough. I'm just not having it. Yeah. But yeah, I just take my work very seriously. And as long as you have fun, yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Just, okay. Cool. Right. Back into the questions. What is the biggest struggle that you have faced so far? Um. Just like keeping up with work I guess mm. uh, like it's never been an issue but it's also been a struggle mm -hmm. in terms of like after I release City of Hearts tomorrow mm -hmm. I'm I'm already thinking about my next five projects yeah. I'm already thinking about the end of next year and the yeah. end the, the year after that and the year after that you know what I mean so like I'm always thinking 10 steps ahead but that's been a real struggle like um, going into audition rooms getting there's been so much rejections and knockbacks yeah. and I've still got my own work ethic and that's hard as an actor. You yeah. get so many no's and so many, oh, you're not right for the part, you're not tall enough, or, yeah, or your head's too small, or your These head's too long. Things, it's, it's, it's the smallest things, things and I think, like, you guys, man. <laughs> but 
you know, it's it, that's their job, you know. So yeah. I've never really kind of let that knock me back. Yeah. But it's also been a struggle to break through into the mainstream. So mm. I'm just trying to make as much noise as I can on the underground and mainstream people are digging it. Retro Three Two showing me love, Real yeah. from So Solid showing me love, Chip yeah. showing me love. You know what I mean? So right. So the interview's finished now. But, of course, we have to ask about what you're doing now. Obviously, we've spent a lot of the interview talking about the past and your up-and-coming, like, your life and stuff like that. So, this is an AIB challenge, and because this is the first interview, you're the first person to ever do it in AIB history. Yes. So, bear in mind, this is going to be, a lot of people going to do this, okay? You've got one minute to talk about and promote everything that you've got going on now, everything that you've got coming up that you know about, and for the rest of 2016. Cool. City of Hearts is dropping tomorrow. It's a sci-fi short film I've done with Remy Moses. I've got the intent coming out in cinema. I've got the weekend movie coming out in cinema. I've got a uh, law drama web series called Brothers in Suits. I've got another short film called The Misconducted Event. I've got a comedy skit called um, 20 Worst States, which is coming out really soon. I'm in Big Toes and Bossy Blitz's next video. I'm in Most Stats video next month. There's something with Mandem on the wall really soon. <laughs> something. <laughs> I've got City of Hearts, it's going to be turned into a web series next year. So I've already got 2017 popping, guys. It's <laughs> mad. <laughs> but yeah, I, it's just non stop work. You want something, you go work for it. That's it. And don't stop. Now what? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. That's good. So, now. My name's Nathan Hector, and you are locked into AIB. Aspire, inspire, become bigger. Woo!